Are you wondering how that labor can reach multi-story skyscraper just to clean those dirty windows? If yes, this video is going to be an amazing retreat. You might already know about the formwork. That basically includes every bit of thing that holds up the concrete in place. Scaffolding on the other hand, is used to support temporary structure or even the formwork itself. But just as I explained in the intro, it also has a popular application for supporting the workmen during the construction activities like laying bricks, plastering, painting on walls, renewal or cleaning windows. Anyhow, the use of the scaffolding has to be strictly in accordance with standards and safety protocols defined by international safety agencies. But before proceeding for an in-depth details on scaffolding, it's important that you differentiate it from shoring. Well, shoring is a temporary support used by renovators to support unsafe buildings or while repairing foundation of a structure. You'll find application of shoring specially during underpinning of structures. Don't worry, if you're unknown to these terms, I've already added their explanation with detailed links in the description of this video. Let's now start with the introduction of different parts of scaffolding. 1. Standards, the vertical posts, also called uprights. 2. Ledges, the horizontal members parallel to the wall. 3. Braces, the bracing system. 4. Footlogs, horizontal members normal to the wall. 5. Transoms, putlogs whose both ends are supported on ledges in double scaffolding. 6. Bridle, member used to bridge openings. 7. Boarding, planks on which workmen stand. 8. Guard rail, rail provided at about 1 meter level to guard the men working on the boarding. 9. Tow board, boards placed parallel to boarding near the wall to give protection to workers. 10. Base plate or sole plate, plates on the ground supporting standards. Now let's move on to our main topic of our today's video. That is, types of scaffolding. Number one is single scaffolding or bricklayer scaffolding. It is the oldest type of scaffold and is still very popular. The components for this scaffold include standards, footlogs, and ledges. Single scaffolding is generally used for brick masonry and is also called as bricklayer scaffolding. Single scaffolding consists of standards, ledges, footlogs etc., which is parallel to the wall at a distance of about 1.2 meters. Distance between the standards is about 2 to 2.5 meters. Ledges connect the standards at vertical interval of 1.2 to 1.5 meters. Footlogs are taken out from the hole left in the wall to one end of the ledges. Number 2 is double scaffolding. Double scaffolding is generally used for stone masonry so, it is also called as mason scaffolding. In stone walls, it is hard to make holes in the wall to support putlogs. So, two rows of scaffolding is constructed to make it strong. The first row is 20 to 30 centimeters away from the wall and the other one is 1 meter away from the first row. Then putlogs are placed which are supported by the both frames. To make it more strong rakers and cross braces are provided. This is also called as independent scaffolding. The next is cantilever scaffolding. This is a type of scaffolding in which the standards are supported on series of needles and these needles are taken out through holes in the wall. This is called single frame type scaffolding. In the other type needles are strutted inside the floors through the openings and this is called independent or double frame type scaffolding. Care should be taken while construction of cantilever scaffolding. Generally cantilever scaffoldings are used under conditions such as when the ground does not having the capacity to support standards, when the ground near the wall is to be free from traffic, when upper part of the wall is under construction. Fourth type is suspended scaffolding. In suspended scaffolding, the working platform is suspended from roofs with the help of wire ropes or chains etc. It can be raised or lowered to our required level. This type of scaffolding is used for repair works, pointing, paintings, etc. The next is trestle scaffolding. In trestle scaffolding, the working platform is supported on movable tripods or ladders. This is generally used for work inside the room, such as paintings, repairs, etc., up to a height of 5m. Sixth type is steel scaffolding. Steel scaffolding is constructed by steel tubes which are fixed together by steel couplers or fittings. It is very easy to construct or dismantle. It has greater strength, greater durability and higher fire resistance. It is not economical but will give more safety for workers. So, it is used extensively nowadays. 
The last one is patented scaffolding. Patented scaffoldings are made up of steel but these are equipped with special couplings and frames etc. These are ready-made scaffoldings which are available in the market. In this type of scaffolding working platform is arranged on brackets which can be adjustable to our required level. So, that's all in our today's video. Thanks for watching. If you've loved this video please do support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel.